I honestly feel a little bit embarrassed to even put this plant on camera. It's just, I mean, look, although I'm going to show you something pretty cool, it may look like it's dying, but I'm going to show you how I use the Good Clean Health Hydrogen Peroxide to revive it also save it i guess because it's my fault so watch along and i'll show you what i do i know it looks sad and it's a horrific sight for a plant lover i absolutely was a bit shocked when i saw it actually but i've got two ways that i can show you to see if this thing is still even worth reviving what we're going to do first is we're actually going to scratch the stem of the plant and by doing that i'll use my nail if it's still green and there's like a little bit of juice coming out, we've got some hope. There's still a lot of nutrients and the plant's alive. If we see here, we've got new growth up here actually, which also is another sign. And the second, well, technically third, is we're gonna check the roots. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna check the roots. There's actually two little plants here and yeah they don't they're very dry non-existent i definitely don't think unfortunately this little one here is savable i've gave it a scratch there's nothing really there yeah she's a goner unfortunately but that's okay things happen so what we want to do now with our very sad poor looking plant is we actually want to chop off and get rid of all the leaves all the dead branches everything like that just so the plant itself isn't giving energy into leaves parts of the plant that actually don't even need it it's not any point anymore so we want to focus on the new growth so what we're going to do is i've removed everything i will actually because we've got a tiny little leaf here i'm going to remove this here like that so what you want to do now is we're going to get a jar or a container and we're going to fill it with water and we're going to have a ratio of 60 to 1 water to hydrogen peroxide. We've got our trusty little good clean health. It's the most handiest packaging as I've said before. It's a little goon sack. Who doesn't love that place? Our sad looking plant. And we're going to pop it away for six hours and we will come back and deal with it after that. So after six hours, we are going to deal with this. I've been about my day. I've literally just left it here. I've taken my dog for a walk, looked after my other plants, done everyday stuff. What we need to do now is look after this bad boy. Sad boy, I should say. So I've got new soil. You want completely new, clean, fresh soil. And what we need is a clean or a new pot. I have actually cleaned this one. I've got a whole stack of them in the back. Um, and I just reuse them. If you want to know how to clean and disinfect your pots, I've actually done a video using hydrogen peroxide as well. So if you just flick through our little page on YouTube, you will find that. Going to fill up our pot with our fresh soil. Plant our sad boy. Once you have your plant, freshly planted in its clean soil, we are going to reuse our hydrogen peroxide solution mix and just give it a good water. And what I'm actually going to do is now I'm going to put it in an indirect spot. Now this is really important because the plant doesn't have heaps of leaves. It's still dying. We don't want very bright sunlight attacking it. Next couple of days, we're just going to keep the soil moist and we're going to check on the plant, watering it with our solution and making sure that it is drying out slightly every time and just keep looking out for signs of life until then. So fingers crossed, it normally should take around two to three weeks to finally see signs of life. So don't give up hope too quickly. It is your baby. Look at it, it's so cute in its little stick form. Thank you so much for watching. And if you wanna see more tips and tricks on how I use the Good Clean Health Hydrogen Peroxide, stay tuned for new videos.